Hi, this is Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see each and every one of you. Today we are talking about the ultimate eyeliner hack for people that have severely hooded eyes or not a lot of space, so small eyes. So you still can wear eyeliner without closing that eye up. So if you want to know more about that, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. I am so glad to be back. Thank you all so much for hanging with me. I hope y'all are having an amazing summer. Um, but recently, basically, I've seen my mother, which I haven't seen in two years, and then his family, which we haven't seen in almost two years. So I've just been soaking up the family energy. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm gonna show you a really easy and simple eyeliner hack for those that do not want to wear it up here because, let's talk about it. When we have a smaller eye shape up here, right? We don't have a lot of space up there or we have a severely hooded eye where this kind of socket really droops over this, uh, you know, the eye line right here. It's really hard for us to wear eyeliner up there because it kind of disappears. And also, if you're going to add anything dark along the eye, it's going to take up space. So it makes your eye look closed up. And it can also make it look obviously a lot smaller than it already is. Also, a lot of people as we age, I'm getting there as well, have a tendency to have quite a bit of crepiness or loose skin on the upper eyelid. And that can also have us to not want to wear eyeliner. So let's talk about this amazing hack. It's so easy. My one caveat I'm going to say is if you're going to do this technique, which I think everybody would benefit from because it's such an easy and beautiful eye framing technique um, is if you could do it in a different color than black and I'll tell you why black is going to be just a little bit too harsh but if you choose to do black then go on with your bad self and have a great time with it that's totally fine but for the most part black underneath so what we're going to do is we're going to do something called an under eye eyeliner and we're not going to eye to line the upper lid okay and honestly, it is a really amazing technique for this eye shape. We are going to tight line though the, eye, the up top liner, okay? So I will talk you through this, give me one second. So whenever you are doing dark black underneath here, what it does is it pulls your eye down to that bottom lash line and actually pulls that down a little bit to make it look a little bit too harsh or too, trying to figure out the right word. It's just, it's a little too, it, it draws too much attention to where that line is. And this line is supposed to be eye flattering. This line is supposed to be eye opening, not a harsh line that as like a attractive, people like look at it like, oh my gosh, there's a black eyeliner underneath the eye. I hope that makes sense, okay? So what I'm gonna do, is we're gonna get a little bit closer. I'm actually using these, these are really great. This is a new um, one from ColourPop. It's, they're called Like a Charm. It's their um, eyeliner set. And I love these three from the set. So I'm actually going to do just, I'm gonna play with a little bit of color today. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use Joyride, which is kind of like a burgundy color. So all you'll need is some sort of eyeliner and some sort of small brush. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your eyeliner and when you, you have two ways you can do it. You can normally do it like we follow the eye line of the bottom lash line up and out. And that is gonna be eye lifting and eye extending. And for the most part, that's where the average person is going to follow this line. That's where I'm gonna follow the line. If you have a severely downturned eye, which is where this line right here on the upper lash line actually really goes down, you're going to actually do it more up and straight, okay? So I will try to show you both here. So let's do the eye opening one that's for the most general eye shapes. So what, oh, I've got a little eyelash there. I wrote a little guy, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the middle of the eye. You want to look into a mirror and you're going to gently and softly line this lower lash. I don't go all the way in. If you have eyes that are farther apart set, go ahead and go all the way in. I don't, I have them a little closer together. And we're gonna go all the way out and we're going to stop at the end of our eye. Take your brush, gently go back and forth and pull this up in line with where our bottom lash line goes to the end of our brow. Okay, do you see that? 
So it's just a shadow. That's why when we use black, it would be too stark and pull too much attention. So this technique is to enhance the eye shape. It's not to draw attention to that area of the eye. It's to enhance the eye shape and not take away from the space on the eye lid. I just have eyeshadow on the lid. I have no liner. I just have eyeshadow. That's all it is. It's actually a bronzer. It's my typical eyeshadow look. All right, do you see how this gives a little bit more drama? I'm just going right up, okay, and just like that. So it gives a little bit more lift. You still have definition, but you give a little bit more lift, and it really defines that lower lash line, okay? And it doesn't look dramatic. Of course, you can use it with any color you want to. Blue, purple, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, brown. All right, so for the other eye, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna try to show the straight technique. My eyes are really not the shape for it, but let me show you. Okay, again, underneath, stopping. This reminds me of um, that Urban Decay eyeliner that I love I have in there, it's uh, alkaline. Okay, so instead of following this line up to the brow, if you have a really severely downturned eye, you're going to, instead of go up, you are going to go, so back and forth, sorry, hold on. Back and forth. And you're going to go straight out. Straight out. Okay, so I hope you can see the difference here. So this line goes up here to the brow. This line goes straight out. Do you see the difference? Okay. And you can play with it. You can play with it and see which one, I'm just angling this up just a little bit so I don't look crazy. Um, you can see which one you resonate with, which one you think looks the best on your eyes. And that's really going to define that eye. You guys have to try this eye technique. If you have small, hooded, you know, pretty loose skin on the eyes and you don't want to eye line the top, this is going to be your go-to look. Now, this step is optional. I like to do it because, again, it's not taking any, you know, um, space away from the top lid. We're not dealing with our lid moving because that's annoying. I know. I hear you. But we are still going to get some definition. Okay? So I'm going to look down into my mirror. I am going to lift my eyelid up gently. We don't want to stretch it too much. And we're going to go right where the lashes connect to the skin. Just like that. Okay, do it one more time. And there we go. So our eye is completely defined. We have nice definition on the top, but it's nothing is taking away. We still have all of our space we have up there. And again, it's really a great way to combine with an all over one shadow, just like I have it. So I have shadow from the lash line just up into the crease. I have done this look a million times. I will try to link the video um, in the description box if you want to watch it. And there you go. Look how nice that is. That's not overly done. You still, like I said, have a nice defined eye. Now, what's going to be important is a nice couple coats of mascara. Today, I'm using the uh, Lawless Mascara. I've really been enjoying this. Now, when we put mascara on that top lash without any liner behind it, make sure you curl your lashes. It's really important to curl those lashes because that will, if you have that hooded eye, that small eye shape, that will give the optical illusion of a much larger, bigger eye when you curl your lashes and put mascara on them. Now, for me, I'm personally not going to put mascara on my bottom lashes. It's just something that I don't do every single day. But again, if you want even more of a wider awake look, go ahead and put mascara on those bottom lashes. Because again, we have rimmed the bottom, you know, with our, our liner, and then we have also rimmed the upper line, okay? And then we have curled our lashes, and then we're using black mascara or brown or whatever you're using. But this is a really great eye-opening technique, large eye, so you don't have to deal with all of this moving and small eye shape and all of that good stuff. So I really love this. So this is the after look, okay? You know what I think I should do is I'll show you the before with just it on the top, and I'll show you the difference. I should do this so you can see the real full effect. There we go. Okay. So I hope you guys can see that kind of whew, wide awake, big eye look. All right. 
Let me know if you guys try this. Let me know how it works out for you. Thank you guys so much. I know you love my teaching videos and I'm bringing a lot back to you um, over the remaining of the summer and into fall. So thank you all so much for being here. Make sure you check out the uh, comments that you leave on these videos because I'm gonna start doing some secret giveaways, which that means basically is I will respond to a comment randomly in the comment section below asking you for your shipping information and uh, get you a little special surprise from me. So every once in a while. All right. Thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye loves.